Hey guys, it's Nick. I'm here in Athens and behind me is Little Kook, this restaurant cafe thing that's loosely based on Alice in Wonderland. And speaking of fairy tales, I want to talk about what's going on with this 20 year old guy that made $110 million in Bed Bath & Beyond stock in about a month. So if you don't know, the story is that this guy, Jake Freeman, he started buying <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond shares a few weeks after the company came out with real bad earnings. So bad that I think their loss was about $358 million from $51 million. Their sales fell 25% and their cash went from about a billion to about a hundred million. So these guys are on the verge of bankruptcy and in this upside down world we live in, just like uh, Alice in Wonderland, this guy, <laughs> uh, just like the fairy tales goes, had a rich uncle who lent him $25 million to load up on this stock. You guys believe that so far? So yeah, that's the story that they're going with. This guy opened his hedge fund in like a registrant office in Wyoming, so he doesn't even have an office. So he registered the LLC to buy the shares on July 13th. And from the time he registered that company, to the time he made the 13G filing with the SEC that he had over 5% of the Bed Bath & Beyond stock. There was only about 41 million shares traded, which means he uh, bought 11% of every share that traded during that period to accumulate that 5 million or so shares. Oh, and that wasn't enough because on July 21st, he sent the board a, an activist letter saying that he was gonna shake up the company and he recommended something along the lines of, uh, he mentioned their option volatility was very high and there was a way they can restructure their debt, basically saying by doing a gamma squeeze. That's where you buy a whole bunch of way out of the money calls and squeeze the stock up and the dealers have to scramble to buy back the stock and that's where you get your short squeeze. Now, while all that was going on, coincidentally, Ryan Cohen was doing just that in his filing to sell his shares, which is a little late uh, next to Jake Freeman, who sold his shares already. Uh, Ryan Cohen filed to sell after August 16th, and in his filing, he showed that he had about 7 million shares and a whole bunch of way out of the money calls that expired in January 2023. These were like $60, $80, and $175. So basically, he bought these way out of the money calls. There was about a 40% short interest or so in Bed Bath & Beyond at the time. And so, <laughs> I guess with the help of Reddit and a whole bunch of hopeful people, they got this thing into a short squeeze. And this guy, Jake, he sold out everything, uh, what, a day ago or something like that, and made about $110 million. He sold his 5 million shares, you know, in the high 20s, something like that, and pocketed about $110 million, you know, in about a month. Now, for all you guys that think that this story is a little too good to be true, and maybe Jake, knows Ryan Cohen or obviously Jake is trading for somebody else namely he said that it was his uncle who lent him the money the uncle was some kind of executive at Mind Medicine a small penny stock biotech company that's trying to uh, bring some kind of LSD product to the market and that's the next thing that it seems like they're short squeezing right now because that stock is up about 100% intraday today. So I don't know about you guys, but anytime I see a <laughs> failing company that's running out of cash very quickly and their sales are dropping 25% quarter on quarter, uh, I go and immediately 
ask my uncle for $25 million so I can go load up on the stock and send a letter to the board of directors telling them how I'm going to shake up the company. And then knowing that, you know, in about a month, I'll make five times my money and uh, rip up that board of directors letter and say, never mind, I'll just uh, sell my shares and go on to the next thing. Guys, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the Acropolis behind me up on that rock. And it is a few thousand years old. And that's about as old as pump and dumps have been going on. So if you are kicking yourself because you thought you could have been Jake Freeman and make five times your money in one month just on sheer luck like, like he did, <laughs> uh, and you're looking for his next investment to get into, well, go check out MNMD. So if you want to be a bag holder, I mean investor for their next activist uh, stock play, go check that out. But you're probably better off just buying yourself a souvlaki or a gyro. At least you'll get something out of it. I hope you like this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.